So finally we get to Andrew Yang. Uh, Andrew Yang kind of brings it back around and uh, looks at Tom Steyer and says, uh, you can't knock somebody for having money and spending it the right way because he, he's funded it on environmentalism and, and things of that sort. So, uh, and I, 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 I do agree to the, uh, with that to, to a certain degree, you know. Uh, yeah, Tom Steyer did, at least was a billionaire that wanted to um, spend money to, to, to do something good, I, you know, uh, for, for, the, for the side of good. Um, but like I said, you know, I don't know what his environmental environmentalism um, really is, and and what his uh, companies and think tanks have really been about. So um, I can't really comment to whether they were good or not. But the general idea of, what, of spending money on environmentalism is um, is probably a good thing, right? So uh, he turns around and kind of points out that we're losing the AI arms race to China, that uh, China is uh, beating us in terms of uh, what they're doing with AI and um, so on and so forth. And he said, we're 24 years behind. Uh, yeah, greatest country in the world, we're 24 years behind in AI technology. Uh, well, yeah, I think we are behind in AI technology because like most of the time that we make uh, AI, we're, we're too busy beating the shit out of it. Like, did you see the Boston Dynamics? Or, yeah, I think it was Boston Dynamics. Like, they keep putting out these videos of, like, look how great this robot is. We shot it with an M4, M16, and it just keeps getting back up. Huh? How great is that? And it's just like, maybe you should just let the fucking robot do its job. Then it's going to steal from American laborers. Like, maybe you should. I don't know if China's spending time just beating the shit out of, like, it, the AI that it creates. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current sociopolitical environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian, and uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content that was discussed and, uh, and the type of humor that you saw in this video, then you'll probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy show. I've got live shows coming up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Bloomington, Illinois, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Columbia, South Carolina, New York City, Philadelphia. I'm going to be on tour uh, in, in a whole bunch of places uh, at the end of 2019 and into 2020. Go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com for my entire tour schedule. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Check out my entire tour schedule, get your tickets there, and uh, we'll see you on the road. Thanks again.